Okay, what I'm going to be doing today is putting on um, the new plate. This is the Juki DU1181N, and I wanted to change the plate because I wanted the markers. I've got other things like I've got this magnet that I can put on and things like that, but I think it's just easier than, than having to measure out. You can just follow these lines. Perhaps I'm lazy, well, who knows? But I think it's going to help me anyway. So, first of all, what I do is I use this angled ratchet tool um, because it can angle like this to undo the screws. If you try and use one of the screwdrivers that comes with it, it's really awkward trying to get it in there and have a bit of um, power behind it to manoeuvre it. So I don't use that. I use this. And of course you can use all the different heads that come with this tool. So what I do, take one of these, put it in there, whoops, put it in properly. And then remember if you're um, loosening something, lefty loosey, righty tighty. So let's get this loosened off. And then once it's loosened a little bit, I tend to just take that off and then you can just spin it instead of having to deal with the handle. I just use the handle just to uh, loosen it off in the first place. Makes life a little bit easier. And then you can just use your fingers to do that. And then the same goes for, let's put that back in there so I know which is which. And then for some reason, I've got one screw which is a flat head and one that's a cross head. So I have to change them over. So we'll loosen this off. It's already slightly loose because I try not to tighten it too much because I've got arthritis in my hands. It's hard sometimes to loosen them off. So I tend to do them tight enough so that it's safe and in place but not so tight that I can't undo it myself. So then just go back to using just uh, the end tool instead of the, the whole handle. And then once it's loose enough, I can just take it, take it out like that. And I've got my foot raised, I've got my needle raised um, so that I can just slide this out. But what I tend to do is just move the bobbin cover over and then you can get your fingers in there. Whilst I'm doing this the machine is completely turned off, I've got no power going to the machine at all. And then whilst I've got that off, whenever I have to uncover anything I give it a, a quick brush out under here and I'm just using a, a pure bristle paintbrush because that doesn't cause static. So just give it a good sweep out and whilst I do that I'm just going to pop a little drop of oil on there. That, I've just put hardly any at all, it's literally just the lightest little drop. So then we take our plate and we can just raise the foot slowly, just pop it in like that. I'm going to push this back, I don't know if it makes any difference having that pushed back but I'm going to. Okay, so put our screws back in and I try and seat them in by hand because they are a bit tricky sometimes. And let's try and seat this one like as well. And then I go back to using this without the handle so I can just spin it and do them up. I can't get them properly tight with just this but I can get them tight enough so that I can then use the handle as well. Screw it up. Try and make sure they're nice and flat 
you don't want them getting in the way because that would at the moment that would catch so remember tightening up is righty tighty As you can see, I'm a bit cack handed. There you go, that's nice and smooth. And I'll do the same to the other one. You can hear the kids outside having a nice time. It's still summer holidays here kids haven't gone back to school which it's Covid times who knows what will happen in September right always put my tools away I've got I've got quite a good good tool kit which is quite useful before I put this away I'm just going to give that a little little brush over as well so that when it comes to using it another time if I want to. It's all there. And then I'll just put my bobbin back in and I'm all set. This is my toolkit. Well should I say one of my toolkits. I've got I've got quite a few toolkits. I like I like having good tools. And there is my new needle plate with the markings on. Thank you.